Welcome and welcome to this new video tutorial my name is Miguel Vela and you are in the LTA Tech channel this time we are going to carry out an Excel course but I oriented to Dynamic tables ok everything related to dynamic tables configurations and everything you can do When applying dynamic tables in your Excel spreadsheet ok we are going to do it we are going to do it step by step from the most basic to the most advanced so that all of you can master it ok and you have no doubt when using the dynamic tables in Excel well. So let's start with this and I want you to see how this video is structured we are going to. Start first by asking ourselves or answering us what a dynamic table is ok in what it benefits me. And when and why do I have to use a dynamic table we are going to briefly describe the first point and as a second point we have the difference you necessarily have to know the difference between a table and a dynamic table as a third point we are going to learn to structure. Okay we are going to learn to organize a dynamic table and not here is where we are going to apply and we are going to use the dynamic tables to an example in Excel that I have here ok we are going to learn to order the filters the rows the columns and the values maybe this is the most important. So that you understand how a dynamic table works and how it is structured as a fourth point we have the configuration of fields ok to configure either the field of dates and whether they want a sum, for example, they want an average account, maximums, minimums and all. That we are going to see here ok you can also use the dynamic graphs and segmentation but this time it could be said that they are more powerful not because we are applying it to dynamic. Ok there is also a way with macros to automatically update a dynamic table. Today I am also going to teach you how to do that and something very interesting also and that are the good point number 7 personalized calculations in dynamic tables and as a last point we are going to learn to do multiple reports with dynamic tables well. Let's start with this I here I have my Excel I want you to observe this is the table the box that we are going to use for the example of dynamic tables ok I want you to observe it is. A configure it is but sorry it is a very simple structure of this table I have here the field date. The column date the sellers the stores and the products ok and how much each product is worth. When how much has been sold ok the structuring is very simple here the name of the seller where. The product has been sold here for this the stores and how much has been sold ok and the sales. So simple well let's go with the first point that would come to be what are the dynamic tables. Not the dynamic tables basically allow you to summarize and easily analyze large but large. Amounts of information ok with just dragging and dropping the different columns and rows. Values that we are going to see later ok what I could say about the dynamic tables is that it. Helps you enormously to create reports ok and I I you no longer have to be applying formulas. To be adding applying this function is none of that ok the dynamic tables do all that. Work they summarize all that work of applying the formulas formulas to have a summary or a report. Of what you want to show ok many people could say that they avoid the use of dynamic tables. Ok because to a simple list it seemed not that it was complicated I think it is actually the. Good this problem lies in that very few times it is explained properly not or from a starting. That all people should know that is why today we are going to start with these. Dynamic tables from scratch ok from scratch and step by step so that you can understand it well. We go with the second point that would come to be the difference between table and dynamic table. Now if we are going to use our Excel box that we are observing here as. We create a dynamic table this is not very easy I am going to select all this we select. 
all the data range of our box that we want to generate the report that is in this case the one we have on the screen and we are going to go here in the start tab I am going to get a little okay I want you to observe here it says insert start tab insert to the side and here we have the three only options to create a dynamic table in the center are the recommended dynamic tables. Simply here I recommend a structure OK the same Excel tells you you can organize your box in such a way you can also modify it obviously it is simply a recommendation that the Excel gives you when creating dynamic tables and here we have this third point that would come to be the tables OK the tables also allow you to manage and analyze this data of your box I do not want you to observe if we click here on the table this little table appears OK because we are creating a table so that you can see the difference between a dynamic table and a OK here it says create table where are the data of the table the table has heads OK almost Always this little dove has to be activated the table has head so that it detects us the first row date seller store product import as headed OK and do not take it as values we simply give it to accept and I want you to observe that it already comes out here as if it were A. And you can really do this filters also as if you would be applying a filter not rounding the word but the most interesting thing here is that it gives you a name I want you to see this table. It helps you enormously when applying functions when using macros in Excel we are not going to. See that later we are going to put for example a name OK we are going to put products there are. And enter OK it already has a name this I click here I go to design and there is the name of the. Table OK this when you create a table to a box in your Excel spreadsheet all your information. Is already updated dynamically OK because we say dynamically because the formulas that you believe in your tables and you will no longer have to be introducing it or expanding the range, but that it is done automatically. And I have two boxes around here, I want you to see they are exactly the same. OK, one is yellow, yellow, and it is green. Good, the structure of the Box is totally the same note 1 note 2 note 3 and the average OK to this we are going to create. As if it were a table and we are going to leave it as normal just so that you notice the. We select. All this we are going to select all this we already know we are going to insert the tab insert. It is. And we give it on the table it does not skip this little window we give it here the table has. And. Simply accept if you like we change the name to that table 4 we are going to put notes 4. Example OK notes OK let's see what the difference lies and I'm going to put a black color well. Let's suppose that this student is going to put Miguel Vela that we are going to put his grades. We are going to put now if the formula here we are not going to put a parenthesis we put the same. Parenthesis and we are going to add note 1 plus note 2 plus note 3 OK we close all this there is. Formula and we are going to divide it by 3 not so that the average comes out and simply enter. It is. Average 19 I want you to observe that here automatically dynamically and I already have the. Formula look at it there it is we can observe it here. The formula, if we click here we can. Observe the formula and if we click here we can observe the formula we can see that. Everything is updated automatically and it is not necessary to be, for example, writing the. Formula, it is not 16 and 15 and 10, for example, there we have the averages if I, for example. 2. See another data, for example, I put it like this, notice that I already have the formula here, it. Also added. Automatically, it is not one of the advantages that the tables offer you, not the tables that we. Here, on the other hand, if you do not do that, obviously it will also work, we are not going to. The same formula note 1 plus note 2 plus plus note 3 we do not close this and we put between 3 there. Is if I. 
Put 10 11 12 notice that below it does not update me I do not know if I put I put 11, 12, 13, 14. Notice that here I do not have, of course I could drag the formula here, it is also. In a fast way, more or less calculating how far the averages would have, but with the table width. This name, that's what I'm going with the name of notes that we have here, we already refer to the name of the table and not to the range, that helps you a lot when I just told you. When you use macros when you use, for example, some formulas, it could be said, for example, most functions, for example, the function look for v is an example, you do not need to. This function, look for v, it always asks you, for example, the value sought, but it asks you for matrix, notice that here it asks us for a matrix, almost most formulas ask you for a matrix, if we select all this, I want you to observe, well, it does not appear to them, but we put, for example, a comma and the name of the matrix, there it is, they realize products, we do. It was. Good, the previous table was called notes, not a comma, notes, we already have it there and it. Us. Everything, they realize in an automatic way and we no longer need to be with a range when. We put a range as it is in this case from here it does not go as it is in this case the range. Will always be established if we add more data we will have to be updating. The formula at all times, that is why we use the tables apart from that we can. Make filters or as I said we create your table for example we click here in seller 4. Example and I just want to know the seller Carlos and not what products he has sold me I accept and. Are the. Filters not in a dynamic way also for that it also serves a table but the. Dynamic tables the dynamic tables that we are going to create now work in a different. Way okay because I tell them that they work in a different way because we can. Structure them to a point of wanting to show for example in this case I want to know I am going to. Hide in this case only the products sold on the date such and how much I have one not. The dynamic tables give you the report of the subtotals either for products of the total of. The sales either for months and all that okay I lost a very fast way and everything and absolutely. Makes you the automatic calculation well that is why now we are going to see point number three that. Come. To be this how a dynamic table is structured how to structure it how to organize a. Dynamic table by filters by rows columns and values okay so let's finally start with the. First example of dynamic tables well I think we already know this our Excel box with which. We are going to work our first dynamic table we are going to select all the data OK from the. Header we are going to go to the last data of our Excel box well once we have selected all. Our data all our records where we want to create our reports with. Dynamic tables we are going to go to the insert tab well I already showed you this we are going to. Insert tab and we have two options OK if we give it for example in dynamic tables I make a. Click I want you to observe that here this box jumps to the left, notice that only three. Recommendations appear, we do not have this, this and this, these are recommendations that excel. You. We could give it to accept and work with these frames and then modify them, OK, but so that. You understand better, we are going to do it from scratch, well, we are going to create here. A. Click on the dynamic table, we click on the dynamic table and this little window appears to you. That we are observing, not here we have good some options we cannot use an external data. Table some table that is outside of this file or also created in a new sheet. Or give it an exact location not already be a cell I am going to leave it as it is here. And we are going to leave it in a new sheet OK if we gave it in an existing spreadsheet we would. To select for example here no and the dynamic table would appear in this part but we want a whole new sheet OK so we select here a new spreadsheet Excel no and we give it to accept. 
I want you to observe that here I just presented this to you what we are observing is not observed. Nothing we do not see any data only this small window does not say to generate a report. Choose the fields says the fields of the dynamic tables are in the right side. I want you to observe that here we have these data and here they are, it could be said the most important part, not here they are where we are going to show this in the data, we are going make a click, we are going to make a click on date, we are going to make a click on seller, a click on a click on product and a click on import, I want you to observe that you can deploy it. There it is and this would be our dynamic table but as we can observe this at first. Glance it is only in a column it does not happen because if you realize here in a row there are the data I am not going to take out a year or a quarter okay I am going to take it out for a while so you understand. I date I can put it in a column I this product I can put it in a filter or in Values I can put it import not here the thing is when you start to use dynamic tables you do not know how to order your information you do not know how to represent what you want to generate the report through these data not actually this is very simple how we can structure our database or our forgiveness our dynamic table I am going to eliminate all this okay I eliminate all. There it is I eliminate it and you are all ready from scratch and here I have the structure I want. To observe it this is practically the entire dynamic table and not everything you see column come here column. You could say that it is in the horizontal part we have three columns it is this part okay I want. To observe here is the table to see here is sheet for everything that is column is practically this. Value OK for example we are not going to build I want here I can show this database I do not know. Could be the seller it could be the store it could be the product that already depends on you I am. To select for example product and I am going to take it to columns OK I want you to observe that. It appears in the header OK there it is not all the products but in the upper part there it is. This is the column not as we are observing here it also says column if I for example. For you to understand the product I take it in a row and it will appear in a single column to this. I grab it and drag it and it appears to me and there is in a vertical way not in all this column. Different rows not before it appeared to me in a single row and in that way we can. Organize we are not going to base ourselves again here in columns that we could put for example. Not this is a matter of thinking a little for example here in columns they could go they could go. Sellers could not go the sellers we are going to put it for example the sellers in the column. Okay we are going to pull the sellers and we are going to put it in columns now if I want you to. That I have all my products here and above I have all my workers okay now if what interests us the. Here is not the point of values values eyes values see this field here I want you to. Observe it here it is values it says there in values it only goes numbers okay it only goes. Whether it is. Sales or whether it is not maximum or minimum accounts everything you think in this case the only. Data that we have of numbers here is not going to be a date obviously it is not going to be the field OK. This is the only data that can go here in the structure of values so we are going to drag the import to values and I want you to observe that here they are already shown but they shown numbers I want you to observe they are shown numbers this means the number of sales for Example of Carlos we have here the number of sales of Carlos that he has made for example in a printer not on a laptop on a laptop and seven and so on if we want to change this. Value that is called an account and put it for example the import that is here that is called this. Field configuration we cannot do it very easy here in values we click and we give it in. 
field configuration OK and here it appears not to summarize values by sum we give it and simply. We accept I want you to observe that now if the import of each product appears, it is not there. In the end we have the totals here for example Carlos has sold 6,300 Jose Almanas has sold 4,350. And so on, not after that obviously we also have more fields, not the field filter here I want. You to observe the field filter serves for example to do searches and not for example I would like to. Show products I do not know for example of such a seller products of such a date products I do not. For example what else we could show or show by products here not and here whatever the dates we. Going. To put a field the filter field we make a click when they make a click on the dynamic table. Here automatically here all the data appears on the side OK we are going to put for example. The store here in filters we put the store and there it is we make a click here and we give it. In store to accept and notice that it already summarized this to us we make a click again here we. It. Store B we accept and so on this will show us according to the fields that we. Organize store C accept and so on store D and there we have not for that are the filters. We can make changes also not for example to store I can put this in products for example. We are going to change the seller and we are going to put it here we are going to see what happens. The store on the right. Okay I think they observe that now if I get the sales but beware already for stores there it is for. Example in store are they sold 100 sols of printer is an example not to this obviously it is. In numbers and it is not in coins we can also change it we select all this we are going to. Generate and we are going to coins not that simple here it does not appear because they were. A little good. For example seller Carlos Vasquez I want to know how many sales he has made good Carlos Vasquez. And we have all the sales he has sold in store A in store B in store C and in store D OK for. Example Jose Almanas we accept and so on not Juan Carlos we accept and we have all. These filters that we are observing we can also make other configurations obviously not. We can use the field date this structure that comes here with this they work everything you. No. Column field we are going to relate it here it appears everything in a row not everything we are. Observing here all this is the column field we are going to paint it in color to differentiate it. And the field row is the green color not the field row here it is the field row the green color. We are going to paint it green there it is not after that we have the values that is the gray. All. This we are going to leave it there and the filter that is the filter that would come to be this. And here is the filter we can identify it by the name we are going to put the blue color filter OK there it is. There we leave it after that we can also obviously use the field date the field. Date is also a very important field not here is the field date for example and not where we want to. Put the field date it could be here in all the rows and see what products have been sold in so. Months or in so many years not for example we are going to pull the field date and we are going to. Above the. Product OK there it is I want you to observe that here I get a distribution of years, quarters and. Dates, this is all that is quarters and years, it could also be a month, it comes out. OK so that they organize in this way, look at a click there is quarter 1. Quarter 2 and so on that we can remove it OK if they do not understand the organization. We take out we drag and drop it to the left years we drag and drop it to the left end. After that here we already have the organization but for months not for example in the month of. They. Were sold for example in store B such a product not in store of the laptop and 3 and so. On and as we are observing here is the summary of the month of May you can observe it. In the month of April everything is done automatically but the organization could be said. 
that it is not very good we can remove for example the store and we can put the product suddenly. In a column look at it and now we have here the sales of the month of March month of April month. May June July August and September what products were sold for example in March there we have. In the printers there are here the laptops the laptop and 5 and 7 a mouse screen and all that here. Half. The subtotals or the totals for products not for example printer is after that we also have. The totals for months that we can observe the totals for example month of April there is at the. And so on and the total sold okay so far we already know the structure we already know how to. Organize a dynamic table okay I don't think it's very difficult if we look at it from this point of. View this you can download it in the description of this same video ok after that. After knowing how we can organize our information as we are. Observing here comes the issue of configurations ok the issue of configurations of certain. Things not for example if we right click this we give it in group we can group here. You can observe for months hours days years and all that well and that is why we are going to. Start with point number 4 that would come to be the configuration of fields in dynamic tables. As we already know here we have the dynamic table that we are using from the first exercise. And we can configure the appearance ok we can put different values according to what. We want OK for example if we wanted to change or configure the field value or the field. Of values that is all this area that I am showing we would simply right click and here. It says value field configuration a click there and this little window will appear where we are. To configure everything if we wanted for example to configure the date part that would come to be. The row area that would come to be here simply right click and we give it to configure field. So on with columns and so on also with the filters ok we go for this example. We are going to configure for example this area we go with the simplest the format not as you can. See here I have a number format the fastest it would be or suddenly the easiest the most intuitive. Intuitive forgiveness would be to select this and go to the start tab and here give it in general. Look for the currency part that would come to be this but nevertheless if we make some. Changes here that can be removed or it can vary not so that that does not happen right click. Value field configuration ok here we have this option I want you to observe number format. We make a click in number format and this window appears to you, many will already know it. No cell format, we go to currency and here we obviously select our currency. From our country, we simply accept and accept and notice that I already have here all the value. And even in currency format, we can do the same if we go here to the value field. A click and there is no configuration of the value field and the same step and it would come to be. There it would be with left click field configuration and there we have all that ok after that. We can also change it could be said the value they have this in this case it would come to be. The sales not that it is here as an import sum again right click and value field configuration. I want you to observe that here we only have two options or two tabs to summarize values by and. Show values as it says ok if we are going to summarize values here it is also the. Personalized name I want you to observe it here it is that you can also change it not if you do. Like that name we are going to put for example sales products this we accept and it has already. Us here. Not notice that here it says sales product ok this is so that as a reference it could be said. Not again a click field configuration ok we already have it there and we go with the first. Data here it says to see I am going to bring more here to summarize poor values they realize. The sum adds all. 
The sales not in this case for example of printers both vertically and horizontally or by column. Or by row not as we are observing it. That is the sum option, there is however the account option, these two are the most common okay. The accounts for example the account we accept them, notice that one appears to them, not this one. This case. It is already in coin format we can change it you already know how to change this one this one. This one tells you. Practically the number of sales and not in this case in March a printer was sold there it is. In April a printer in June a printer not for example in laptops laptop and 7 for example in. May two printers were sold not here is mouse also two and here we have three keyboards and not an in. And. Obviously this already tells us not and to this we can obviously apply conditional format. Not for those who do not know or for those who know how to use conditional format as if it were a. Simple table not obviously we are going to continue with this right click we give it in. Of. Field value ok there we are you can also try with the rest we can also see for example. Here average maximums minimums products and a series of values that personally I have not used but we can also get maximums minimums and everything is just by reading it we can already. What it is about well I am going to leave it in addition now if we go to the right to show values. I think. They observe that here is this option okay this small option for example gives you the total in. The percentage that is this sale we are going to put it first in addition so that you understand. There it is. And even as before right click field configuration and we are going here to show values as. Ok we are going to give it for example the percentage of the total general ok these 200 sols for. How much? Does it mean in percentage of everything we are going to make a click here we give it to accept. There it is not. For example 200 sols of 0.3373% of all the sales that have been made we can. Continue to configure if we give it field configuration show values such as for example. The percentage only for example of printers I want to know for example in March what percentage. In. Sold throughout the year we give it to accept and there it is for example in March it was sold 40%. The entire year of printers in April 20% and so on right click field configuration. A value we can also click here and put for example the total of rows in this case. It would be for months and it would not be for the product we are not going to give it to accept. Now, for example. Printers account as 4.26% of all sales, there it is, we can realize. That the laptop was sold, for example, in March 21.28% of all sales of the month of March, and so on, we have more options that you can discover. Suddenly, these are the most common that I have used, there is the total of main rows. Of total of main columns and this is a series of data that you can go testing. I particularly only use the first three OK well so far we have the most classic. Options, you could say of the dynamic tables, not after that we can also. Organize if in case they have the field date as a row, not as in this case, for example, we. Right click we give it here where it says group OK we click on group and this little. Window I want you to observe start in it says here and finish in that normally this already comes. You. By default it organizes it from the first date until the last date in this case of sales. There it is I would like to organize for example for years I simply make a click in years I accept. And notice that in 2017 I have had all these sales in 2018 I have had all these sales and. In 2019 I have had all these sales of obviously of these products I did not right click to group. If I wanted for example this one that organizes me in years and apart in months we do not give it. Except. 
And notice that this already opens me in different ways for example 2017 corresponds to all this. That I am going to change the color so that you understand it better well 2018 all these products. And in this way we can understand in a better way how our data is organized. It could be said, there it is, we can already observe it in 2017 in the month of March, April, May. There are all the sales, all the totals for months and for the year 2000 in this case 2017. 2018 we also have all these sales that are here we can observe it and in 2019 this. Already depends on how the group does not right click to group and you are here you cannot group. By quarters hours days minutes and seconds okay after that if you are uncomfortable with any of. These data you can go to design okay here it is you can observe here it says subtotals do not show. Subtotals for example I am going to remove it and do not show for example do not show subtotals. The subtotals in the lower part or show the subtotals in the upper part in this case. You do not see that much but in other tables if it shows you the subtotals we can deactivate the rows and columns to see we are going to deactivate it there it is that I deactivate activate rows. Columns. I do not notice much difference there it is here if I do not activate only for the row they say OK. Only for the column and in total of generals and not this more than everything is for the views OK. Here in design for the views you can try one by one and you will realize well. This would be practically the whole topic of configuration OK the topic of field configuration. As you have realized it is not difficult at all not simply right click field configuration if. You want to be more precise you go here if you want to configure filters a click we give you in. Configure field configure columns a click configure field values a click configure. Field of value and so on well now if we go with dynamic graphics and segmentation ok. This already comes by itself and this is very simple in reality also not simply we make a. Click for example in any side of our dynamic table and we go to the top. Here it says insert and we are going to look for graphics ok tab insert and graphics we can put. Any of these graphics you already see which one seems better with which one is represented. In a better way for example I am going to use the first one a click and we leave it here the. Interesting thing about these graphics in dynamic tables is that with the filter you can change. Everything, notice that the dynamic table and the graph also automatically becomes dynamic. No I, this is according to the organization of your dynamic table, for example. If we change the data, we are going to put the group, right click group and we are going to put it. For months or for years, ok. We accept and this also changes automatically, the same. With the filter, I am going to put all of them and this is already changing, not for example if we. To add. Another filter, that is, with two criteria for reports in dynamic tables, we are going to grab. The store and we are going to put it on top of the seller, ok, here in filters, for example, I. To. Select store, I accept and I already have store and all the sellers, not as we are. Observing, if I, for example, only wanted the seller Carlos Vasquez, I accept and this also. Changes me, the tables do not realize the graphics that also become dynamic, for example. Store B, there it is, this is Carlos and in this way we can analyze how the sales have gone in. The different products, but already with graphics, I, this is only an example, here there is no. Data, for example, if we give it in all of them, we accept. There it is, if we give it here and we. It in all of them. Also seller, we accept and this already changes if we change the structure also of our. Dynamic table obviously that this is also going to change apart from that if we click on the. Graphic in this small graphic a click on the plus and we can add this some data not. As we are observing that will depend on you and not these are the graphic elements. We also have different designs a click here and here it offers us a series of examples. For us to be able to use no designs for our dynamic graphic for us not herein.
Design format there is a click on my graphic I go to the design tab and here it also. Offers me a series of data and this is practically. Is dynamic, all the data, all the graphics that are shown are already dynamic, the same thing. I am going to put it here. In a corner so that it does not get in the way, the same thing happens with the segmentation, if. Click here we are going to analyze and we give it here where it says insert segmentation, we click. And these are the data that we want to segment, for example I am going to put seller, store and. I accept and I get these small windows, in this way we can filter very quickly, for example. Carlos Vasquez, there is Jose Almanas, there it is and so on, everything changes but in a faster. It could be done, also look here in the graph that also changes, I am going to raise it a little, I think it is very big, there is Juan Carlos and so on, with the segmentation you have a very fast change, for example I want to know only printers, I am going to delete here, I just want no. the sale of a printer all the time, a click here and there we have the sales, for example, 2017 300, 2018 200 and so on we can generate this type of segmentation. If we click here where it says multiple selection, we can click and select several products, there it is, only the products that you are interested in knowing, you realize. Easy and fast this is, if we have a date, I am going to delete all this, let's see, I think so. There it is, if we have a date as it is in this case, we can also insert the time scale. We click there and we give it a date, be careful if there is a date, we accept and this small one. Out, this. Time scale could be said, we can select for example according to the year I want you to. Observe there it is 2017 January I do not know if it is any sale February March April there it is. March. We have three sales here and so on for example I want 2018 a click here and we see according. To the date we can select ranges also if we drag look here they appear exactly. The selection August 2018 and all this obviously that changes we are not going to look to see a date that has value there it is in 2019 September 2019 there is your graph I do not give you in. There is. Nothing only in September this is the basically timeline scale of segmentation here. We have some options also if you want to change this the model is there you realize the color and. You already depend on how we eliminate we are going to eliminate this with suppressing suppressing. And suppressing ok there it is we are going to give it all we accept we give it all and we accept. I think. There is a time scale filter not only in the year 2018-2019 that we can realize here. They realize that the filter has changed it says date filters we click there and we are going to. Delete the date filter to see we wait a moment and there it is not but the grouping is already for. Year. We are not going to change that ok we are going to put it for months right click group and we are. To put it. In months again we deselect years and we accept ok there we have it again not. Here is our graph we are going to put a black one so that it stands out more ok and that would. To be. Everything that would come to be the segmentation and the dynamic graphics well now what we are. To do. Is that we are going to touch the sixth point which is how we can automatically update a. Dynamic table in Excel OK you have to know one of the weaknesses of the dynamic tables. In Excel, for example, I have a date here, we are going to change a date so that you can see that. The month of March is not here I have it in row 6 and I have a printer 200 sols I am going to. At. This yellow is the month of March that is exactly the month of March is this printer. Here it is this is the month of March what happens if I for example to this import we are going to. That I want to change it to 500 I have not confused I put enter 500 and I return here to sheet 1. This. Has not changed I want you to observe it has not changed we have to come to analyze we have to. Come to update and give it here where it says update everything and just there, just there, notice. 
it has already changed me, they do not realize that it has just changed me and to avoid this problem of coming to and update everything we can create a macro that does all that okay and likewise we also have. Another problem here is why I initially taught them to create tables and dynamic tables for. Example not if I create a new record here we are going to suppose that the same month okay the 20 of. 2019 we are going to suppose that it is the same that the same seller the store also the same. Okay. Store C but in this case that I have sold a product the laptop and 5 okay and at the same. Price well let's suppose that I am adding this new record I want you to observe this. New record and if I go here and I go to analyze update and update everything despite the fact that. Have this record we are going to select for example only from Jose Almanas we are going to put. Seller Jose Almanas I want you to observe that this product will never appear okay we are going to. Another product for example it should appear there we are going to put for example product test okay. Are going to go here to analyze update and update everything this product will never appear because because. This dynamic table has a range that has a range and the range is from here to the last. Data, it is not for that reason that we create the tables, these tables that are also. Dynamic tables, in reality we are going to solve these two problems, we are going with the first. With this change. We are going to return it to 200 or we leave it at 500, we are going to leave it at 500, I am. To give. All of them and we accept that we leave it at 500, the first thing we are going to do to solve. Update problem automatically and avoid the issue of being going to the. Tab to analyze and update everything that everything is updated automatically is doing the. Following to this we are going to save it as a macro we go to the file tab here a click. We give it to save how to examine and here it says type ok here it says type there it is a click. And I give it an Excel book enabled for macros there it is I give it an Excel book enabled for. Macros I put the name I want BD2 I am going to put it and the extension is the following this. Extension has to realize that this point XL is M with that we already know that it is enabled. For macros we give it to save and with that we can generate a small macro okay they do not need to. Program they do not need to know anything I have a small keyboard here and we are going to press. Next combination of keys okay the combination of keys the next I am going to bring this a little. We are going to press the alt key of our K of our keyboard sorry there is this key and without. Releasing this key we are going to press the F11 key OK the F11 key Alt F11 and we are going to. What window throws me to the F11 and throws me this window this window that you see is the visual. Base programmer to generate macros we are going to locate exactly in the sheet where we are is. Sheet 1 and here on the left I also have the name that is in parentheses sheet 1 OK to that we are. To double click this little window will appear in white and here in general we are going to make a. Click where it says worksheet here in this combo box worksheet and on the right we are going to. The. Option activate OK this one here that we have here we are going to eliminate the one here I just. To. Have this code I am going to bring it closer to the private SAP worship activate OK and we close. In SAP here we are going to put a small line of code one more OK we are going to put active active. It is written active sheet when the sheet is active point and we are going to put the pivot or the. Table pivot OK in this way we call the table as the table is called in this case we are. Forgetting the name of the table of our of our dynamic sheet we are not going to eliminate this. For a moment and here we are going to put the name of good of this table where we put the name of. Table we make a click here wherever the dynamic table we are going to analyze and here it says. Of dynamic table you can put the name you want ok the name that you think I am going to. Put reports people there is a click wherever and we make sure that it is there if there are. 
Now if we are going to tighten the commission again to F11 to F11 and here is the code that. We are writing OK here inside the parenthesis we are going to put and we are going to put. As we have put it, if we have put it in capital letters the first are we put it like this. OK, we close this report and again we are going to press or we are going to write the pivot cache. OK, refresh point, every time you see a change then refresh it, OK, there is the code. Simply copy it, you do not need to know how to program because it is not the intention of this. OK, with this code that we are observing here, we are going to automatically update our dynamic table. We go to sheet 1, we make sure here on the right, sheet 1 is where our dynamic table is. Be careful, do not forget, sheet 1 is here, if it was on the other side, look for the other sheet. In this case it is sheet 1, there is our dynamic table, and here it is, sheet 1. And here do not forget to select worksheet, to the right, activate, ok, it's an event, activate. Activate, when the sheet is active, well, and we copy the following code. This report is the name, basically the name of the dynamic table that we have created. I'm going to copy this code, I'm going to paste it in a notepad, okay, there it is, we paste it. And close it. Well, let's try this, if it really works, let's put for example here 1000, 1, 2, 3, enter. We go here, debug. There is an error here, let's see what the error has been, ok. Here we have missed a C, here it is, activate, ok, activate sheet, let's see, everything is fine. I think there is fine, we save here, if we get the error, yes, here we save, we close this, we. And let's see if this works, let's give it here 1500, we press enter. A click here and it already. Us. Okay, they realize, it just changed us, let's put for example here 3000, 1, 2, 3, enter. We go here and we already have there the 3000, so simple and simple, let's see for example. If we change, if we put printer 100, enter, we go here and it already enabled us here, they. The printer 100. There it is, we can observe it. There it is, we are going to put for example laptop i9 for example. There is no, enter. We go here and we already have there the new product of laptop i9, in that way we can update the. Automatically. But what happens if we add for example in this case one more row, I'm going to copy it, I'm going. Paste it here. Those two rows, for example this one that is store C and this one that is 5000, for example, 1, 2. Enter. OK, test product, here it should appear to us, let's see what happened with the data, we click. And well, we already changed, printer 100, that's why it doesn't appear here, sorry, well, those. Rows that we see here. I'm going to select them, they should appear to us, this is from the year 2019, we are going to. By year, right click, group. And we are going to put here for years, OK, we accept and we are going to see if this product is. This product is test product. As you can see, we don't see it, why don't we see it? Because this database is not a dynamic. OK, or it is not a table. That's what I meant at the beginning of this course, when we create here, this one that says. We can already organize the information automatically. The dynamic table already automatically reports the range that we assign to this, how do we solve? In the following way. I'm going to delete this dynamic table, we delete it, delete, and we are going to create this. Ok, but now I'm going to delete these two data too. We select all this and we are going to create it here in the tab insert, we are going to go to. One click, and we are going to create the table, ok. Now yes, we go back to the beginning, we accept, I want you to observe that now this is already a table, ok, this is already a table. Whose data is going to be updated automatically, we can put a name here, we are going to put 
here in the tab design. And now yes, this, here design, products, ok, products, enter, with s, enter, now yes, if we. For example a dynamic table. Now to this table, because it is already a table, the one that we are going to declare here, we. Going to select, we do the same procedure. We select everything, we are going to insert, dynamic table and new sheet, we accept, there it is. Go back to the beginning. We put date in rows, there it is, we put for example, we are going to take out quarter and years. We take out those two. We are going to put the products here, the store here and the import as it was a moment ago, there. Is, I get the account, right click. Field configuration, add it, we are going to give it, well, there it is, we go back to the same. That we started a while ago. As we are observing it, again we are going to tighten the combination Alt F11, Alt F11 and hear it. Now, now it is sheet 5. Watch out, the name is very different from the word you have, sheet 1, here is sheet 1, twice. We go here, worksheet, selection and activate. Ok, now yes, we are going to put here all this code that the code that we had generated a while. We select it, we copy it and paste it here. Ok, we save it and that would be all, we are going to see if that is real, for example printer. Product that we add, ok. Printer 100 for example, this is the one that we added lately, do not forget to put the name to. Table, to the dynamic table. We are going to put here for example, reports, this is the name that we put, remember, there it. This name we have to put it there. Ok, reports and here it is, reports 2, we are going to see if it works well, here is what we. We are going to put 6000, 1, 2, 3, enter. We go here and update, we are going to update for example, a seller, ok, here, we are going to. To the same seller, we copy and paste twice. We are going to select all this, yellow color, and we are going to put for example here 200 and 300, 3000 for the example. And here we are going to put for example, Jose Alvinari's Chacon, and those two values should be. Ok, it is in the year 2019. We go here, a click, sorry, it was in seller, we would have to pull seller here, to filters, and. We have it, seller, and it updated us. I want you to take into account, Jose Alvinari's Chacon has just been updated automatically through. Dynamic tables. Those two data that did not belong to range, but now it is a table and it no longer has a range. All this has a name. And every time we insert new data, as it is a table, a table is declared, this is going to be. Automatically. And it will work in coordination with the dynamic tables of Excel. After that, we have the point number 7, which would be the personalized calculations in Excel. Tables. For which we are going to use another Excel spreadsheet, I want you to observe the structure of. Spreadsheet, the one I have here. It's just simple, here we have the date, the product, but to apply the personalized calculations. Have the sales for example of the year 2018. And here it's goals, for example, if I wanted to know what sellers or what products have reached. Sale of the year, very simple. We are going to select the entire table again, as we practice the dynamic tables, we are going to. Insert, we are going to dynamic table and simply accept. We already know, I here for example in rows I am going to put the products and here in value I. To know the sales and I want to know the goals. I want to know what products have reached the sales goals of the year, in this case of the year. Is another sheet I am going to delete it. Of the year 2018, in this case 2018, well, we are going to do the following, we are going to click. Here in any part of our dynamic table. 
And we are going to go to this tab that says Analyze, OK, we are going to analyze and here to the. There is an option that says Field of Elements and Sets. Simply a click and here is the field of elements calculate field we click on calculate field and are going to do the following here we are going to create a new field we are going to put it for example in this case it is sales versus goals okay to know what products have reached their goals not simply here in formula is where we are going to Apply the formula OK we are going to erase this zero we are going to select in this case the sales. Twice click minus the goals twice click we give it to accept or eliminate this we give it to. Accept and here it is I want you to observe that here I have just created my new column, no, and. That here are all the products, for example, the products that have reached their goals, not. All that are positive, we are going to get a little closer to see it better, all that are positive. Have reached their goals, not that has more than 1,500, 1,500 sols that was the goal to that it was. 153,000 in sales, 100 sols, 139,000 and this passed this of the 7,900 sols of the goal. Also we can, for example, apply this as a condition, we are not going to suppose that all. are negative and I am going to select it in red all those negatives for the next year. Are maintained but on the subject of the goals okay all that are negative I do not want that or I. That they meet their goals the next year but those that are positive multiply the goals. By an amount not for example by 5% more by 10% more as we can do that I do not know if. They understand me but now they are going to realize again we are going to click anywhere in the table we are going to analyze we are going fields and field calculated we here we are going to put 2019 I see goals 2017 I do not know why he has taken it like that but that field can also be I we can also change it we are going to put the new goals we are going to put new goals okay so you can understand new goals 2019 what we are going to do here is use a function if I am going to. Open a blog and I am going to explain how the function works if in Excel OK the function if it is. Written the same I am going to enlarge this a little more so that you can observe it well although. I'm going to put 80. Well the function if we write it like this as you can see it and here we open parentheses OK here. Comes the logical issue not in this case it is apostrophe the logical issue we are going to ask if. Example. In this case add sales is positive here we ask if it is positive if it is positive then. Do something and if it is negative do something else that is what we are basically going to do. Okay. I do not know if they understand me but it is the function we are going to see we can also write. Here okay for. Example the same function but there is the logical test if this data is positive then it will. A true value and if it is negative this will apply the false value we are going to put it in test. We click on any part of the cell to analyze fields elements and field calculated well. We are going to put here for example in this case what name we put new goals new goals 2019 I am. Two, bring this a little closer so that I can see it better there it is new goals 2019 here we put the. If we already know we close parentheses we close we open parentheses and we are going to select. Versus sales 2017 ok twice click there it is this is the value that we just got no sum of sales. Versus goals sorry it was sales versus goals this one that we are observing the last sales versus. Goals this is the one that we just created no there is the color this half orange half melon no. Twice click we do twice click and it went up here you can observe it and we are going to put this. If it is less than zero okay with the sign no sign less equal to zero there it is and now we are observing. 
If it is less than zero then we are going to say that is, if it is negative that the goals are still. Maintaining as they are not the goals 2017 we do twice click and point and comma if it is false. That is, if it has exceeded the goal then we already have this a new goal we are not going to. The sales of 2017 or the sales of 2017 and we are going to multiply it in this case by the I do not. 1.05. That would come to be 5% more not by 5% more or any other date by 1.5 for example not that it come to be 50% more and let's just see let's see it is structured to this we close parentheses okay. This is the structure what we are doing here is to ask if sales or the sales that we just got is less than zero or the negatives if they have not exceeded then continue to maintain the sales of last year because they have not exceeded it if the sales are greater than in this case. Half exceeded the goal then there is a new goal and not multiplied by 1.5 we accept and that would be. All notice that here we have the new ones this the new goals not to sell in this case notice. We had the sum of goals that was 14 14 14,000 I am going to put the currency format that is that. Confuses me. This I am going to put the configuration format and we are going to go to currency and we accept. I want you to. Observe before previously the sales were in this case the goals of 2017 were 14,000. And it continues to maintain 14,000 because because it did not reach the goal there it is missing. Thousand the same. Here these two data are maintained I want you to observe I do not know if you are understanding me. These data are maintained not simply and simply because we have not reached the goals. Instead the other data I want you to observe that the goals are already going up, here are the and multiplied. By 1.5 we already have new goals I think that if they have understood me if they have not. That part. They can ask me okay after that as a last point we have the issue of multiple reports with dynamic tables how we can do that we go here to the sheet that Previously we had here we have it to see if I am going to put I am going to order products again. And here we can put in this case we are going to put products here and seller here okay I want you. Observe this seller and his products we can filter I want you to observe we can. Generate multiple reports to everything we put for example here in filter I want you to understand. That we are going to see I am going to put the color I am going to change for example the label. Here the sheet so that they realize something that I am going to put yellow to everything I am going to. Yellow. So that they realize something there is a right click with the label color yellow simply. To realize something I want you to observe that all the labels are yellow, what? Happens if we, for example, want to generate multiple reports but from each store, here is. Store a store B for example there is store B there it is not but I want to generate reports. By store you understand and I want to print for example a store I want to know your report another. Store but individually simply the report that we want to get out has to be. In filters we click anywhere in the dynamic table we are going to analyze we are going. Here where it says options and we are going to show us reports filter pages we click there and. Look down here 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 where the sheets are to show reports filter pages we. Click we accept and it creates us automatically here we can already observe the different store. There are your report store B your report store C your reports and store of all your reports. We are going to change for example I want to know by seller we are not going to put here store I. Going to download it and now if by seller again analyze options we go here to options a click and we are going to show a filter page we make a seller click we accept and we already have all the names of the sellers for example Carlos Vasquez Jose Albanares Jose and so on here. 
Are more leaves okay I want you to observe how easy how fast it is to do this type of reports with. An option no more not a click options and here is the option to show a report filter page as you. Can see. It is not difficult, the only criterion here is that the leaves are created according to the field. Is in the filter. Well friends, this has been all, if you have any questions, if I have not explained something. If you have not understood me. You can comment on this same video, comment there and we will be answering you. With me it will be up to here and see you until next time. Do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like this video and if you can, share it, okay? Good night, see you.